Hey folks, it's Richard from Bikepacking Adventure here in the beautiful Peak District. Just heading along the uh, road from Bamford to Lady Bower. So we've got uh, Yorkshire Bridge coming up very soon on the left to wake, make my way to the reservoir at Howden. It's about 20k, I think. Maybe a bit less to camping spot, which I'll show you when I get there. Probably in the morning. There won't be much to see. And the idea is in the morning. Just go back to the van, pick my shades up, ditch this winter jacket. It's really cold today, and go on a bikepacking adventure all day tomorrow. It's about 100 miles, starting here in Haversidge, heading to Lincoln. And then Sunday, make my way back to the van again. This jacket too, does too good a job. Uh, too warmed up now. Yeah, that's why I'm going to ditch it tomorrow. I don't want to be riding all day. And I think a bit further away from the national parks, it should be a little bit warmer. It's going to be about two degrees overnight here. Wow. Stunning. Wow, <laughs> stunning. Ooh, it's a bit airy. Perhaps pointing the camera this way will really show how dark it is under all these trees. kind of one question mark and that's where I'm going to stop. I do have somewhere in mind. It'd be fantastic if I could get up on the, uh, the hillside somewhere. Somewhere not too high up because of the bike. <sighs> yes, I'm walking. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I'm just walking back to the bike. I've managed to find somewhere. Finally, uh, about two kilometres up this track. Just been a bit of a hiker bike all the way up my view at the moment as I make my way back to the bike. I'll just walk up an extra oh, 200 meters or something just to see what was at the top. I don't want to be at the top really. So I want to be out the wind. Oh, I managed to uh, finally get settled. It's been raining so I'm glad <laughs> I'm inside now. Yeah it's a lovely little spot. What well, stumbled upon literally. Hopefully uh, the wind is going to stay as it is because it's uh, it's windy enough, shall we say, <laughs> for this tent. It's not the most robust tent in in the world, but uh, yeah, it's so nice and warm. Probably could done with a hat. I'm using my snood at the moment. Snoods are very, very versatile, so you can do lots of things with them. So I've got it running up the back of my neck and just cover my uh, ears up, as you can probably tell. But yeah, probably do with a. Uh, up a woolly hat soon, I think. Start to get cold. Bought everything else though, uh, pretty much. Um, apart from a thicker sleeping bag, which I probably could have done with. Uh, I did bring some gloves. I put them somewhere. As for the setup, it's pretty much the same as uh, last weekend on the uh, Not a Bike Packing Adventure. The only difference really is the uh, the sleeping bag is. And it's not the Vango 300. It's a, a cheap summer one, so. Um, uh, I'm, I'm counting on the uh, Seed Summit sleeping bag liner to add uh, an extra 10 degrees or whatever it's purported to do. So uh, I've also got my sexy uh, down trousers on as well. Look at these, the sexy little things. So these will definitely <laughs> come in very useful throughout this winter time. Really, really cover you up nice and warm and, and toasty. So yeah. Hopefully this can be a great evening. Some chocolates. We've got some chocolates here. Um, I have brought along my favourites. 
tonics, caramel wafer biscuits. So uh, yeah, I have two of those this evening, and uh, two of them join tomorrow, tomorrow's bike ride. I've also bought loads of cheddars, mini cheddars, I like mini cheddars. Uh, well, that's a shame, really. I'm going to enjoy coffee, uh, probably in the morning. Although I've got the chocolate actually, so I might have a chocolate before bed this evening. Good morning everyone. And it's been a quite cold one. It's, um, oh, it's been raining on and off all night. Um, so it's been quite loud up here as well. Been pretty windy at times. Uh, it's been difficult to sleep. I don't feel like I've got enough sleep in there, even though I've been up here <laughs> for about nine hours. Um, yeah, it's been awfully cold. It is about quarter to seven in the morning, so it's still fairly early. Um, some will be coming up in the next, well, probably the next 10 minutes or so. It's damp inside. Yeah, it's still pretty dark out there. So just have a <laughs> look at the sky. That's where the sun will be coming up. I thought, uh, I thought it actually might have been a bit lighter than this. No. Right, I'm gonna make a brew, I think. Get warmed up a bit. All things considered, when it comes to clothing, it's weird because I've not had to put any gloves on. It's been all right, actually. They're not, they're not been too bad. I just had to rub them every now and again. But, yeah. But I don't know if you can see on camera. There we are. You know, when uh, <laughs> it's proper cold, you can see your breath. Anyway, I'm going to get porridge down me. Some coffee. And uh, I'd love to get some drone shots up here, but... I think it's a bit too windy. Enjoying the view for the first time. It's the uh, direction I came from down there. We're about three kilometers back to the circle at Howden Reservoir. I was hoping to be out of the wind a little bit just here. It's stunning though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, not completely shrouded in mist. And we've got this edge of uh, peat all the way along here as well. It's rather interesting. And further along here is like little huts for bird watchers and twitches or whatever. <sighs> Stunning though, isn't it? Windy path all the way down at the bottom there.
is what gets me about wild camping. The things you see. I mean, it's okay for the Forestry Commission to come here and uh, rape the landscape, but uh, dare anybody pitch a tent up in this beauty. Seen all the biffy spots now. <laughs> of course, we're in a tent, you've got to think about space a bit more. It needs to be a bit flatter, but yeah, I bet I could have got in there. I tried hard enough. Seen a pic today with there's an ultra marathon going on. Riders everywhere, runners everywhere, even. So you join me a little bit further up, past Haversage. I stopped at the van, took the jacket off, got the uh, gilet on, and away I go again. So I turned right at Haversage to go past the station. So at some point I'm joining the High Feet Trail, I believe, if I remember correctly. Getting past that lock, and then heading straight east into Nottinghamshire. Going towards um, Blidford and the South Wales Trail. Until then, for the next two, three hours, I get to enjoy the glorious Peak District. It's about 110k to go from here, and the majority of it's gonna be uh, pretty flat. Just gonna get out of the Peak District, really. too soon about those hills. What on earth were I thinking? <laughs> I just remember something in the recesses of my mind related to the uh, Bivy spot. If I had kept going, there's a boffy up there. How do I know? There's a uh, couple on YouTube, Hayley and Kyle. They do lots of uh, hiking around the Peak District. And there was one video earlier this year with Kyle going up by himself on his bike. If I kept going, I would have spent the night in a buffy. Ew. Look at those cuties. Oh, here they come. Getting a lot of positive comments about the drone work. Thank you very much to each one of you. And um, I mean, those who ask you what camera it was, 
it's the Hover Air X1. Um, I'll stick a link in the uh, video or b down in the comments. Anyway, it's such a great toy. It's not really just a toy though, is it? It's and then a whole new dimensions of videos. It's loads of fun. The problem with drones is <laughs> the battery life is never fantastic. But still, use it wisely. You can get some uh, great results. The only thing about this drone is I think it's got a ceiling of 15 meters. So it's never gonna go across a big lake, take dramatic scenery of mountains and things like that, unfortunately. If you've been enjoying this little adventure in the Peak District, what I'll do, I'll uh, stick a link in the corner of the screen. If you wanna check this one out as well from early this year, I believe it was nearly snowing. Bit of a bike ride, me and Chris Skellhorn, uh, all the trails, Manifold, Tissington, this one I'm on now, the High Peak Trail, and the Monsell Trail. Chris normally doesn't do much in the way of uh, gravel, but even he likes that one. And I'm sure we'll be out here again at some point. Maybe on a better day, because it was freezing. Wow, where have I thought that with this? I thought like a cheeseburger. Today's sports drink. And two is two for two pound. Got two of these protein strawberries. Like bit still from the lens. It started raining. So I'm just hiding in the corner. Guess what shop it is? I'll give you one guess. Yeah, you know it. Just coming into uh, Newstead Abbey. Hey, well, ladies, I haven't shown me my bike. So, as always, it's the new proof digger factory. Uh, some new additions, tail fins back on, as it is a well different mug for that sort of this morning, because that one needs washing up. So, I had a spare one in the van, so I've gone for that. Onto the cargo cage is this new cargo bag on tail fin. I've uh, bought it a few months ago, but waiting to uh, a reason to get it out. Uh, yeah, it's all right, it's not too bad. It's a little bit difficult to understand how to put it together though. We've been at a technical bike packing gear equipment. I don't know where to put these bloody things on here. I never know where to put those. So the bag at the front is where the camera equipment goes. More parts of the uh, National Cycle Network. So I'm going across to Clipstone Forest now, which is where the trail centre is at Sherwood. From there, drop in to the Southwall Trail. I'm having said thoughts about where I should uh, wild camp. Why don't I uh, wild camp in uh, Sherwood? <laughs> Why the hell not? Plenty of places. Well done, congratulations. If you managed to watch this far into the video, it means I've done a good job of keeping you entertained. Stay with me, let's see what uh, happens at camp, and let's see how tomorrow goes. Seven o'clock, still on, still trucking. Just past the uh, ice cream parlor at Hockerton. 
so far from uh, Southwell. That's 25k to the wild camping spot now. Oh, right. Quarter past nine. Finally got myself to my camp spot here along the uh, NCN 64. It's uh, nice woodlands up near the Flemwood Viaduct. Uh, yeah, we've we'll got have something to eat. I've not any, had anything to eat yet. Um, shall I show you what I bought? Quite an assortment. I said the one thing I wanted to get, I didn't bother uh, getting, but in the end I've replaced it with some bits of a gout. So, we've got some brioche rolls. So, start back to front, because I've got to get some porridge out. So, we've got some brioche rolls. We've got some two of those crisps to munch on. Gigsters, yes, you are tuned into the right channel. And this is what I'm going to have for tea. Rinse the brine out, get rid of the brine, sit those in the boiled water, and when the sausages are done, make a chocolate or coffee or whatever it is. And finally, a brew dog. Uh, which one's this? Uh, Elvis juice. So I'm going to down that. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So looking forward to tucking in. Uh, right, this is probably it for this evening. So um, I've just got to set the bed area up. That's so I'm going to do that now. And uh, I'll catch you first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning folks, it's half seven in the a.m. Time to get up. Uh, it's a pretty late moving. Uh, probably going nine o'clock by the time I've shifted, I think. Maybe half eight. Been a mixed night of sleep. Um, struggled, struggled with those early hours again where, you know, the last couple of hours, where it uh, just gets really cold. So... Weird outfit, gloves are on, jackets on. Mm. Thought there's gonna be a frost this morning. Oh, thank God. Pretty cold though, it got down to one or two degrees. Just take a bit of a walk around, I think. Get warmed up. But, uh, yeah, this is the spot. Oh, there it is, sunrise. Got my own bench as well. It's nice of them. I could have done with an extra jacket on and that uh, woolly hat. <clears throat> There's only so much you can carry, there isn't much space or anything. So, yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? So, anyway, today's itinerary. Uh, I need to put a route together. I've not got one yet, just to get me back to have a sidge, get the car back. I'm gonna be pretty direct, I think. I'm not gonna be mucking around. Right, so far, I'm gonna just keep on walking for a little bit, walk up a little bit more, and uh, get a coffee, get packed away. through Columba Park, one of those places if you uh, ever come out this way you want to visit, along with Clipstone Forest, so many good places to ride in Nottinghamshire, South Wild Trail yesterday, very much a blue sky day, great autumn's day out. Random park in Sheffield, leadless area of the uh, city. I'm enjoying the sun, I don't care. <laughs> but he's walking about in like coats and winter jackets and things. If you don't know Sheffield, it's full of hills. Reached the final hill, the top, surprise hill. It's 
one of those hills, you've got to concentrate, get on with it. I don't know how I feel about that descent. It never gets easier. It always feels a little bit weird when you are on a fully loaded bike. It's very tough. Very unnerving at times. Well, I'm nearly back at the van. What a weekend. If you made it this far, big pass on the back. Well done. <laughs> Well, the Garmin's screaming at me to finish. Yeah, a couple hundred meters to go. And then, done and dusted. I'll pop some links down below to the routes that I've been taking on this bike pack in adventure. If you want to take bits from it, go ride it yourself. It's got those fantastic trails around Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. 